Let me do this. Am I sure? Let me see. Hi, everyone. I hope you're doing well. This is going to be collective reading for Pisces. Let's see what's coming up. Whoa, we're already dropping cards and... Oh my gosh, I thought it was the Wheel of Fortune, <laughs> but you do have the Wheel of Fortune here. One second. Okay. Going to take all the cards, actually, this one as well that came out. So let's just leave that there for a second. And we do actually have the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, Pisces, we're starting with the Page of Fire, the Wheel of Fortune, the Awakening, um, which is interesting. That's the hangman. And then we have the sun and the ten of swords. So I'm feeling, you know, there's something here. Okay. So Pisces, there's going to be a really big switch up for you. And by the way, thank you for joining me. I'm not sure if I even said this yet. It's a touch of tarot. Um, yes, please do subscribe if you haven't already and you like this reading. So Pisces, what's coming up here? There's a big change of events happening. Now, this is the first card I'm seeing here. Let me just see this. And I'm talking about the characters, and it's the chariot. So there is something coming in. There is a change of events here. This Whatever this is, is actually going to be flipping you around. Because you see here, um, we have this adventurous person. And it's like going to do something. It's going to wake you up or make you think about something differently. Um, have a realization because of this. And this is actually like a spiritual awakening. Or we could say even like a guided awakening. It's something that's meant to happen. This is something... You know, it's almost like the facts of life, like in different years, you have different lessons that come in. And this is going to be one of those lessons on the way. I might be talking to some Pisceans who are actually younger, like, you know, in the younger age group here. Um, so what this is actually pushing you to do, Pisces, with the Ten of Swords and the Sun card here is to leave a situation. Now, this is the interesting thing. This situation may seem like it is an amazing situation. It may be that you live at home with your parents or that you're living at home with someone that's taking care of you if it's not your parents. Um, but walking away and actually embracing an ending, packing up, leaving, you know, doing it organized in an organized fashion um, leads you to this beautiful opportunity. It literally says it right here in the Ten of Swords, but then we have the Sun card here as well. So this is something huge that's happening. We're going to clarify this. I'm going to get one more card. Um, I was guided to look at the bottom for the last card, and it is the Nine of Cups. So this is no joke, Pisces. There's something that's happening here. You're not a kid anymore, or you can't, you know... Um, Maybe it's maturity, maybe it's responsibility, maybe it's a commitment, maybe it's a marriage. Um, we really don't know. And I feel like the Wheel of Fortune energy is saying it can be anything because everyone is different here. Now, this can particularly have to do with a masculine energy as well, who is going to be going towards a dream, a wish, something they really want, something they finally um, are going to leave a situation for to go towards. Okay, so let's clarify this. Um, someone here may be like a sign of the lizard or a sign of the dragon or like, you know, born in that year. Um, we have strong fire energy here. But I mean, we really do have everything. Technically, with the Wheel of Fortune, it has every single card in it, you know. So there won't be an extended on this one, but feel free to join my Patreon for other readings I do. I'm edited quite often, actually, to be honest with you. It's usually like love readings. Okay, so let me just ooh, focus. Okay, I'm going to take what came out here. We have this one, this one, this. You have the hangman on the hangman. And we need one more to clarify the sun. This is interesting. Okay. Yeah, there's something huge waiting for you. And we'll do the exact same thing and put the top on here. And it's the Ace of Pentacles for that wish energy. 
So Pisces, listen, I feel almost like seriously, you're going to be leaving a home. I don't know if this is something you want to do. I do see the energy of someone that's packed up, but it does look like it could be a struggle. Um, someone here may be used to being taken care of or used to that stability, used to that sturdiness, used to doing whatever they want, but there is actually a releasing of this. I feel like this person really doesn't want to let this go. Let me just let the sirens pass. Sorry, guys. I feel like this person really doesn't want to let this go. But like I said, and this is a 10, like, and even the Wheel of Fortune is a 10. It's oh, something is coming to a completion. Okay. Um, it just is what it is. And this is going to switch things up. Um, you may feel like you're going to, it's like difficult. I don't feel like you feel you're going to be stuck. And even though the awakening card is in the right position, right? So, you know, the hangman is still facing down. Um, I really just feel like you're just going to get shooken up by this, but not in a bad way. This is pushing you to walk out of a situation, most likely a home or pushing someone, whoever you think this reading is for, to leave a home, to pack their bags. It's not easy. We have the seven of wands. People may be trying to stop this person any way they possibly can. And what I actually feel is that people may be making this person feel guilty. Okay. Now, with the sun card and the queen of pentacles, there's this weird little energy here and with your wish card coming with the Ace of Pentacles. You have to make sure you follow um, exactly what you want to do. But I do feel like you know what you want to do. I do feel like you know where you want to go. And we have the Sun card here. So this is something that is calling you. Um, with the Queen of Pentacles here, it's interesting because it's almost like that snake is holding that... It's like trying to tempt the queen of pentacles, but I don't feel like leaving this situation is a bad thing. This can be talking about someone seriously getting a wish and not thinking they could have got it before. And it's really, really interesting. We actually have the queen of wands right underneath here. Um, so this is something coming in and it's weird because it's almost... Like if you're a masculine, you could have a female coming in because it's very masculine dominated until now. I'm seeing two queen energies here, right? Someone's getting a wish. Someone's getting an offer. This has also been a long time coming. It could be 10 years or 13 years um, that someone's maybe been in a situation and avoided leaving for whatever reasons, maybe they didn't want to go through a fight or people were, like I said, making them feel guilty. Um, for someone here, I almost feel like it's going to feel too good to be true. But this is an actual wish coming in or returning to you because with the Queen of Wands, it is about an energy returning. It can be something you've wanted from before now finally coming in. Okay, so we're going to pull a couple more cards Right, and see, maybe we'll have a character that, um, what is coming in for Pisces? Oh my gosh, <laughs> such a strong energy here. Do we need, yeah, you know, no, no, yeah. Okay, so we'll focus on this one first. What is coming in for Pisces? We have the thief energy, but it's in the upright, and this sheds light on the potential wealth within you that can never be stolen. So maybe someone was trying to guilt someone and say you're leaving. Um, that's really childish of you. You, and it's funny because I have the child here, right? Um, let's see what this is about here. Friendship with animals, communication with the nature spirits. Uh, whatever that's about, someone's following their heart is what I get here. You know, and I think they've kind of been denying it or not being honest about that. But when it says, you know, something that can never be stolen from you, I feel that that has to do with people putting this person down. I think someone here really does have uh, maybe self-esteem issues because of what's happened. Um, and maybe some fears, thinking that things that are, are great are not going to be good. But this is a wish coming true. 
If there's someone you had a heartache with or you felt like they stole your heart, that may be what's coming in here. You may have someone you've had a connection with, maybe even a quick connection. That may be happening here as well. So Pisces, that is your reading. Thank you so much. I hope it gave you some something to look forward to, okay? If you want to join my Patreon, I would love that. The link is below. Otherwise, feel free to leave a comment and have a great day. Bye for now.